Hello and welcome to the fourth episode of how to become an ion driver. I will be covering tips and tricks to help us but first of all help you become a better driver. In this video I will be explaining ERS as well as show you how you can apply to become an ion driver in whatever series you please. But before we get into our question of the day I just want to say a massive thank you for everyone uh, for the amazing support and especially the people in the ion community, uh, racing community who have given me a lot of advice to help me improve my videos. I also want to thank Kashmir the owner of the league for care enough to give me a list of suggestions I should consider. But without further ado, let's get into our question of the day. Our question or rather questions of the day to come uh, today comes from a lot of people who have been wondering about ERS and what's the, what the best way to use it is. Uh, so first of all, let me just explain what ERS is for those who don't know. ERS or energy recovery system is a system that is used in cars to recover kinetic energy or heat from the car and turn it into elec electric energy which is then stored in the battery to be deployed later and this energy is uh, harvested by either heat released by the engine or by breaking and turning, uh, turning it from kinetic energy to electric and kinetic just means mechanical en energy like physical energy that uh, from movement. However, in Ion Formula Racing game, we only have one way of harvesting energy and that's by braking. Obviously, the higher speeds when you start braking, the more energy you get and how long you break for also matters. So you would just imagine how much kinetic energy you're uh, removing from the car. That's how much energy you're gonna start getting into your battery. And then you're able to deploy this uh, electric battery while racing and it in increases your horsepower by I believe in the actual uh, uh, in actual formula one it's about 200 uh, horsepower so it's very useful especially when you're deploying it around your top speed you can reach much more higher to uh, top speeds as well as when you see your leaving corners you can get much better exit because you would have higher acceleration due to the more horsepower you have which but you know more horsepower you, it means you need to be able to control control the car better although in the ion formula race in 2020 game it's quite easy to control the car and especially the rear compared to the actual league racing series uh, so let's talk about what's the best way to use it so i've talked to many pro drivers and um, I've gotten different opinions and it's really uh, up to what track you're doing and your driving style as well as your uh, if you're racing it depends on your position in the race and how do you want to finish and which lap it is so if you're just trying to get a good lap time you would obviously charge your battery by doing a couple of slow laps where you go very fast then slow down charge the battery and then get ready for your hot lap with a full battery and um, so depending on the track i i so for example Dakir said he only uses ERS for the straight while other drivers might you might see them use uh, ERS uh, during corner exits which is very useful since you can get a better exit than someone else and gain time or uh, yeah basically run away from them uh, but they might get you back in the straight because they might have more ERS saved up by then so you obviously need to keep track of your ERS, do a couple of laps, see how much ERS you used in each part of the track, see how much you have left over each time, and see how much you actually want to have left over for each part of the track. If you see yourself losing a lot of time on the straight because other people have more ERS than you, then you should probably save more ERS and not deploy it as much. While if you're uh, if you have too much leftover ERS before your breaking point after a long straight, then you should probably find other spots that to deploy this ERS. So it's really, you really need to figure out how uh, your driving style affects your own ERS since it's personal for each uh, driver, obviously. So I'd recommend you, you keep track on your ERS of your ERS and see how it behaves 
learn it see how just basically experiment it's really up to you for uh, what you want to do and uh, how you want to drive uh, so i hope that answers you guys' question and i hope that helped you so uh, now let's move on to how you can apply to become an actual ion league racer so first thing i recommend you do is head over to the rules channel and read that just to make sure you don't get banned from the server for breaking rules and then after that go over to the welcome guide and there you will be able to find the basics of what you need to do to get a position in a team so if you want to become a driver either a main or a reserve you need to head over to the driver testing game and set a good lap there in the car of the league you want to participate in so that should be either f1 f2 or gt3 and then post your lap time as well as other stuff that might motivate teams to hire you while following the format in free agent market. If your lap time is good enough, teams will start messaging you about positions that you might be able to get as a driver, but currently there is so much more offer than demand for drivers that it's uh, really rare where, where that happens unless if you are in, in some insanely talented driver. But trust me, being quick is not all it takes, since there are many very quick drivers who lack common sense, which puts them on the sidelines with no team or seat. Which is also why I recommend trying to get yourself integrated into the ION community by talking in chat and trying to be very, uh, to be friendly to other people, since it's always good to have some people on your side if you ever need some backing while uh, someone backing you while you are trying to join a team. Another way you can find the team is by heading over to the team advertisements tab and seeing if any teams are looking for drivers or team staff and so on. You can DM those uh, team owners with the details they require and then they will give you their response. As I said before, right now it's very hard to find main driver seats and sometimes even reserve driver seats. So I would recommend taking a reserve driver seat if you can or even an engineer position because that will help you understand how ION race weekends work and give you more experience so that if you are ever given the chance to drive in a race, you wouldn't bottle it or ruin your chances in the future. That being said, I would also recommend knowing the reputation of the team you are joining and this is either by checking their race results and standings or asking about them in general chat i also want to add that you should maybe wait out doing laps in the driver testing game if you plan on joining f1 as a driver since i believe they will be moving that to the ifr uh, 2020 where the league car is much different and you have more options for tracks i hope that helped you guys get a better understanding of how you can become a driver and if you have any more questions please leave them down in the comments below thank you so much for making it to the end of the video and i just want to say massive thank you for all the support i got on my previous episodes and if you guys think this series helps you become a better driver or just learn more about driving in general, then please leave a like and subscribe uh, to not miss out on any uh, future episodes. Goodbye.